Hi loves, this is BB, Cigar Saint Sister, and welcome back to part two of Cigar Conversations. I am cigar and tobacco aficionado, living the cigar lifestyle for 28 years, somewhere between saint and sinner. It is May the 1st, and I'm celebrating with a beautiful spread here. It is my great grandmother's birthday. She would have been 121 years old. I had her in my life for 29 years. She transitioned to the spiritual side of life in the year 2000 at 109 years. So May 1st, I celebrate. And I'm glad that you're here with me. It is countdown to one year right here on YouTube for the first official YouTube channel for May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. And I'm very excited about that. My great-grandmother was a beautiful woman of color, of Native American descent, and she was a lady of the leaf. Yes, a sister of the leaf. And so I celebrate her with part one, where I was doing the snuff because her favorite snuff was two bros. And I have fun memories of her sending us to the store for her two bros snuff. Now she dipped her snuff, and I don't dip, but I do the nasal snuff. And it was such a generational thing because when I speak with my mother about my great-grandmother, which is her grandmother, she also talks about her runs to the store to get the infamous and famous two bros snuff. So I'm so blessed that I had her in my life for 29 years. And happy birthday to my great-grandmother, 121 years young. So I have beautiful tea here with the beautiful haunting music. This is Tension Tamer by Celestial Seasons. I love it. My palette is pretty on spot. So I taste ginger in this tea. It's very, very nice. And in my world, does this tension tame me? I would say so. Now, in celebrations of all lovers of the leaf, and for my great-grandmother, she also enjoyed not only snuff, but she enjoyed pipe tobacco. And here is my pipe. Gosh, we got some nice sun rays. It is very decorative. And I think this is my first time enjoying a pipe on the channel. It was long overdue. And this is the jar that I store this particular blend of tobacco. And I label it under the bottom. So this is raspberry and blackberry Cavendish with a little bit of uh, Virginia Burley. And I uh, decanted this. January 2016. That music is so hauntingly beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna open this up. Let me just show you the pipe again in its entirety. As a um, romantic and Victorian goth and just a lover of lace and antiques. Look at, look at the design on this. It's very beautiful. And I think a little bit of the tobacco got in my tea, but it's okay. It's all right. So I'm going to go ahead and light this up. It has a nice openness because I cleaned that very well. I'm not going to get into the whole preparation of cleaning, but uh, here we go with my nice torch from Zyko. Lovely. It is very important to find a really good method to cleaning your pipes.
and I did a very thorough cleaning. Only once I've gotten a nice casing around the pipe to break it in. Delicious. So there's been a lot going on. I'm very excited about the first anniversary coming up for Cigar Six Sister, the first official YouTube. Funny how time flies. I hear. And I'm still enjoying the lovely snuff. And I'm gonna have a little bit of the Delacchio Taj, which is a beautiful black color, almost just like the beautiful Miner's Cold. It's so dark and delicious and so sexy. I call this the sexy snuff. It's beautiful aphrodisiac within the nose. But because it's so, oh gosh, I don't think I'm gonna, see that a little bit because of the sun glare going down in the west but because it's so black in color and I'll be showing stills it's just very exotic but that is the packaging Delacchia Rose well Delacchia Taj I keep saying Rose just like I did on the first one but this is the Delacchia Taj for the Taj Mahal it's a beautiful Indian nasal snuff and I do have my handkerchief here because it's so black in color. You want to make sure your nose is clean. Nothing like a beautiful pipe. I love it. essences of that blackberry is just so beautiful. It's just wonderful to have. So there's a lot of stuff happening in the media. I try to keep myself on the pulse of it, but I try not to get too enthralled in it, whereas I'm letting it consume my Zen vibe because I try to keep as much of a Zen vibe as possible and to not let things get so wound up where I am wound up. Now, I'm going to continue the flow of the music here. I understand, you know, especially with this whole thing with Kanye West, you know, how people are up in arms, but when you don't feed life into something that's broken a lot of times sometimes that helps okay we could go on and on talking about he hasn't been the same since his mother passed or you know whatever he's taking and mental illness because mental illness is serious but you know when you're putting mental illness and genius into the same sentences. It has always been that way for a lot of people. Genius, madness, and all that. But you do have to take accountability at some point. And if you cannot take accountability for your actions, then it has to be someone in your life that will have to take over and help you get the help that you need. But we must not reward bad behavior from anyone. And to be reckless about such a sensitive subject on race and on slavery is just ignorant. And you have to see the sanity of the statement. 
coming from him. I wouldn't say, okay, Kanye was in his insane moment. You must take those blinders off. And kudos to a lot of people who have taken the blinders off. So all I'm saying on that, because I'm going to end that, because Kanye will not be the big part of my filming here, is that you cannot reward bad behavior. Get the help that you need. But you can forgive, but never forget. Never forget that moment. And keep your peace and your zen and your consciousness. Now, switching gears, I've been loving the beautiful spring that we've been having this year. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, it was so cool and all of this, we didn't get those springy, springy temperatures. Well, I I beg to differ on that. I think a lot of people do not understand the beauty of spring. Spring brings windy conditions which can cool you off. It brings out the pollen. It brings the spring rain. You know, it's a very temperamental season. It's a temperamental child. It kisses goodbye winter, but visits, not ready to let go. Maybe I'm on my poetic flow, I don't know. But it is definitely not summer. So never confuse spring with summer. For a lot of people, you know, again, even myself, You've seen warmer springs. The spring is just that lovely time of year that floats you out of winter and prepares you just a little bit for summer. But it does not want to act like summer. So, it's in between. The windy, the cool, the chilly, the warm. It's just very temperamental. And I think a lot of people can appreciate spring. Some people was like, oh no girl, I don't. But this is the true essence of spring and all that it brings. April showers, spring May flowers, and just that coolness, that loveliness. I love it. And I'm loving some more of this now, I'm going to try that Beacon, which has a nice menthol kick to it, so it really opens you up. It has the nice essences of a, like a chocolate and a mint. Andy's chocolate. So the bumps, I really wouldn't recommend too big because they really wake you up. I'm not quite doing my sessions of the pipe like I would normally do. This is so unorthodox and a little bit just not the classic way. I'm not tampering anything down right now. I packed it pretty good so. I didn't bring out the pipe tubes. But the Begum Snuff, again, this is such a beautiful snuff. Bring it closer to you as the sun is going down. And it is just a beautiful snuff. And I keep the wax paper on this one because it's very hard to get out of uh, the container. And then I keep them in an airtight container, sands this. So when you put the wax paper on, it's easier to lift off. Just like I said in the first video. And then, of course, this is the uh, toke, cheese, and bacon. Ah, oh, there we go. And this is really, really good, too. So, I have a nice mix. I really was going to do a, um, 
and then you could temper it with your hands. I'm such a dangerous girl. It's a little warm, but like I said, very unorthodox. And you definitely would need all kinds of torch lighters, I say, which is really good for the pipe unless you want to get some long matches. That blackberry is everything. So now I also want to speak on some of the spring things that I love. And I'm going to sit this pipe in my holder and I'll probably go ahead and do another little refill again. I'm going to have some tea. And then I have my little duster. Just, you know. But some spring things that I want to talk about here. Just wanted to uh, give it a go. And I'm going to give it a go with some more music. So let's see. We're going to try for another cool calm here. I may bring it up a notch just a little bit. So bear with me because here we go. All right. For spring things, I love <laughs> the blinders. I also love the gel eye blinders as well. You can put these in the freezer or refrigerate, however cool you want to the touch, and then just put it on. They're perfect. So I keep several of these in the home, and then I also keep several, excuse me, of these on the travel. And they're just really cute. Very feminine too, because I love the colors. So I have like pink here, I have like green, I have blue. It's just very nice. Now I'm gonna get this pipe going again and take it down a little bit and just add in some more beautiful tobacco. But it's so relaxing after a long day, you know, keep it in the refrigerator probably for about 20 minutes. They say 10 minutes, but I like it really, really cold because once I'm down, I'm down. So I want it to, you know, unthaw itself a little bit after 30 minutes up in the freezer. And then it really would cool me down and any puffiness will be gone. So, hmm, I bet we was good. I love the spring things. So get you a nice gel mask. Then after the puffiness is gone, or if you just want to relax on that kind of flow there with the beautiful gel mask, then you can keep going and go to sleep with a beautiful eye mask. Now this one is beautiful, it's pretty big. It's like a very extra large 
eye mask compared to the other small ones that I have. I, I, I am an eye mask wearer, so I can just break out an array of them. <laughs> but this is extra big, extra large, and it's also lavender. It has a nice lavender scent. And then right there at the top, scratch and sniff and you can see how potent the lavender is going to be. So I thought that was pretty good for the spring things. Nothing like an eye gel mask and then the sleep mask to go right with it. Also, this is lovely. We give some more life to this. And I'm gonna have a little bit more of the nasal snap. Ooh, that's a lot. That was a big bump. I don't think so. <laughs> okay, also too with the spring things, I'm multitasking here. These shades are everything. They are just beautiful in every way. I, I love the vibe of a nice pair of shades. I mean, you can't beat it. I love the way they frame my face. And I love the cast of the shadows on this one as well. It's, it's very nice, very. So, I'm gonna continue on with a little bit of uh, this vibe here. Shade game, and then check it out on the side there. Very nice decorated. So those are pretty cool. If you're wearing like an earthy tone or just anything, they just match right in beautiful because they're so natural. This little component can be used for anything like hair, face, body, whatever you want to fill it in. It is cute and it's pink. What I like to fill this with, let me show you. As I set the pipe down. This is one of my favorites rose water to illuminate <laughs> the senses. A beautiful rose infused tonic water for our infused facial toner by Body Prescriptives. This is beautiful. I have different kind of rose waters and uh, if it doesn't have the pump then I just take it like this one doesn't and I take this and fill it and it's good to travel on the go and you can just spray 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 
and feel refreshed. I, I love doing it especially at night. And I also love doing this especially before applying makeup however intense or however light. But it's just really, really good. And it has the beautiful softening qualities too. Now, different of the rose water sprays have different type of components uh, for different things. Some are um, more stringent for cleaning and refresh and others are less stringent and give a nice soft finish and a refresh. The biggest thing, all of them gives the refresh and I love it. So this is one of the spring things. Bring that a little closer so you can see it. Just lovely. I love it. Let me try it again. So you can just see it. I hate pulling things and then people are like, oh my God, I didn't really see it. But yeah, it's beautiful. So I'll be showing some more of my beautiful little hauls of things because I just like to incorporate that. And it's really good for the skin because let me tell you, when you're smoking, men or women, you know, it. the cons is that it can really stress out your skin. So you need to hydrate within and you also need to hydrate on the outside. So for men, they have beautiful toners for you to use on your face and moisturizers. And I think that's a beautiful thing when men can do their self-care too. And especially for those of us who smoke, um, it's always good to take those extra steps because smoking, it can deplete you, but when you put back in good stuff on the outside and inside, then you should be pretty straight. You know, just like with my lips when I'm indulging on a pipe or with the cigar. What I do is I moisturize if I don't want to put on any lipstick. So it's always a protectant for the lips, protectant for the skin, and um, it's just always to get those nice, good healing properties too. Aloe is one of those that is really, really good. Get your electrolytes in and just go for it. My grandmother gave good wisdom and I love her for that. And so just celebrating with beautiful spring things, talking consciously and enjoying a nice pipe. I'm sure she would enjoy. I've enjoyed it and I hope that you have too. Beautiful Cavendish. The cake formed in this pipe is solid. It didn't take me long because I was really smoking the pipe, but making sure it didn't get too hot to break because these pipes can run very expensive. And I have a beautiful long pipe, okay, that I will be showing on film as well. The music is so dramatic, I love it. Should I go solve a mystery? <laughs> and this tea has just been so divine. And my little duster again, just to get off any residue.
That blackberry just fills the room, leaving such a pleasantness to it. So, thank you so much for locking in. This has been a great session. Happy birthday to my great grandmother. Thanks so much, you Tada squads, for subscribing. Welcome to everyone and all other subscribers and enthusiasts. She opened up nicely. She's a she. Oh, to be in this room, tis, tis so sweet, when the lips meet the pipe. I am the Dragon Lady, BB, Sakara Saint's store. Thanks so much for locking in, and more of these pipe sessions to come. Peace and love.